And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. My name is Aaron Adams. I'm the Director of Science and Conservation for Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Today we're going to talk about the life cycle of permit. BTT has been instrumental in gaining information about the permit life cycle. For example, we were the first to document that juvenile permit required open sandy beaches like we find along both coasts of Florida. In addition to learning about juvenile permit, BTT's research was also instrumental in creating the special permit zone, which encompasses Biscayne Bay, Florida Bay, and the Florida Keys. In the special permit zone, there are stricter regulations on permit harvest, including protection of spawning permit during the spawning season. Research has shown that permits spawn on deep drop-offs on offshore reefs as well as offshore artificial reefs. They do this in the summer in the Florida Keys from April through July, but down in Belize they spawn most of the year from February through October. Importantly, the fish that we catch on the flats migrate to those offshore spots to spawn and then back to the reefs. When permits spawn offshore, they do what's called broadcast spawning. In large groups, they get together, eject eggs and sperm out into the open water, and then the fertilized eggs and then the larvae when they hatch after about a day float in the open ocean for about 20 days. That means the juvenile permit that come into beaches in Florida could come from local spawning or they could come from distant spawning like Mexico, Belize, or even Cuba. So to make sure that we have permit to pursue in the future, we have to think about habitat conservation, water quality improvements, not just where we fish, say, in Florida, but throughout the Caribbean because they're all connected. And then we also, as anglers, have to think about proper catch and release to make sure those fish survive. That means we have to be concerned about local conservation of our habitats, but also about other people in other locations protecting their permit fisheries and habitats as well. To learn more and to make your voice heard, visit BTT.org.